What's up everyone, Ozzy here. And Intel has finally released their Coffee Lake lineup and the performance is pretty spectacular. Intel has finally realized that four cores and four threads just doesn't cut it anymore for next generation AAA titles and can also hold you back in CPU dependent applications such as streaming, content creation, or any kind of rendering. They added two cores and two threads to their mainstream i5s and their i7s are now six cores and 12 threads, a bump from the four core, eight threaded i7s that we've seen for the past seven generations. They've also managed to maintain the efficiency and overclock potential of Cabby Lake, a feat that I attest to Intel's very refined 14 nanometer node process. And while the respective Ryzen CPUs have better specifications on paper, the benchmarks are in favor of the Coffee Lake counterparts. The 8700K performs slightly better than the 1800X in real world applications and noticeably faster than the Ryzen chip in the majority of games while being slightly cheaper. The i5s were spectacular as well, and they honestly steal the show from the i7. The 8400 and 8600K perform very similarly to the i7-7700K, which was prior to the release of Coffee Lake, the best gaming CPU of all time. Through association, this also means that the Coffee Lake i5s perform better than the R5-1600 and 1600X in gaming applications, which is very true if you look at benchmarks, and they're about the same performance when it comes to CPU dependent applications such as content creation, rendering, and all of that stuff. So you can say that Coffee Lake is a win for the most part, and I will get into that later for Intel because it's a step in the right direction and it's finally the upgrade that we've been asking for after all of these generations of rehashing essentially the same CPU over and over with little to no performance increase between generations. So yeah, the Coffee Lake i5s and i7s are great processors and they're a worthy upgrade for a lot of you who are still on the Sandy Bridge or Ivy Bridge i5s or i7s. Unfortunately, there is one caveat and that is you gotta be able to purchase it. According to a couple of sources, there is a global stock shortage of Coffee Lake CPUs, specifically the i5s and i7s, since that's geared to most people who are out to buy a standalone processor. And a lot of major retailers have already placed back orders on the Coffee Lake i5 lineup and the i7-8600K, which is currently the only Coffee Lake CPU, i7 CPU that Intel has released. And although the 8700K and 8600K are great purchases, a lot of people aren't fond of back ordering their products and they don't wanna go through the headache of waiting for a product to come back in stock. And in a sense, this could deter a lot of people towards the competition, which is the Ryzen 5 or 7 series in this instance, because they're getting their product um, immediately and they're not losing too much performance and they're maintaining the same price. But that principle only really applies to the 8600K and the 8700K, the Coffee Lake i3s and the Coffee Lake locked i5, the 8400, are available enough where you can pick one up um, if you needed to. But then that poses another issue, which is motherboard availability. Right now, Intel has only released the Z370 chipset for their motherboards that support Coffee Lake CPUs, and the cheapest one right now is 120 bucks. If you're picking up an 8600K or an 8700K, then you're in the market for a Z370 motherboard anyway, so this doesn't really apply to you, but if you are picking up a locked i3 or an 8400, then you don't want to pick up an overclocking motherboard when you have a locked CPU. It just doesn't make sense. And unfortunately, the H series and B series motherboards won't be available until early next year in 2018, meaning that you're waiting for a motherboard that's within your budget just so you can buy a processor and justify the price of the ecosystem. And just so to help you, I'll give you a quick example. The i5-8400 is about $185 and the motherboard, the cheapest one, is $120. The R5-1600 is about $200 and a motherboard is $60. As of the time of making this video, it is $55 cheaper to purchase a 1600 if you include the motherboard instead of an 8400 despite performing similarly in CPU applications and 10 to 20% worse in games, though that can be remedied with a bit of an overclock on the R5 1600. So then you have to ask yourself if you're in this market, is the extra performance of the Coffee Lake i5 over the Ryzen 5 
worth double the price of an AM4 B350 motherboard. If you're picking up an 8600K or an 8700K, then this doesn't really apply to you all that much if you can find one of those CPUs somewhere in stock comfortably. They're out of stock or back ordered like everywhere. Hopefully you see what I'm trying to say. It's a cyclical trend of you have the CPU, but then you're spending too much on the motherboard or you have the motherboard, but you can't pick up the CPU and you're stuck at square one. Yeah, <laughs> it's not the best type of launch. Now, I read somewhere that Intel was actually meant to release the Coffee Lake lineup sometime in 2018 instead of 2017, but as a response to Ryzen, they decided to push forward the release date. And if that's the case, then all of this stuff happening makes complete sense. All in all, the upgrade that we've been asking for from Intel for a couple of generations now is finally here, but unfortunately it's being smothered by a rushed paper launch. Now this launch is not as bad as Skylake X or Cabby Lake X, and it's nowhere near as awful as Vega, but I think it's still bad enough where it should be open to discussion. So with that being said, my opinions of the processors haven't changed. I think they're very fair performance for their MSRP and I'm glad that we're seeing competition finally in the CPU department. The next two or three years will be very, very exciting. So I'll leave you guys with a few questions. What do you think of Coffee Lake X and how do you think AMD should respond to Intel's eighth generation of processors? Are you gonna pick up a Coffee Lake CPU or are you gonna go Ryzen? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.